All right, guys, I am so excited for this one, okay? So, what's up, guys? They're bringing it. Today, I am back. I'm playing Game Dev Tycoon. Dude, I have been wanting to play this for so long because I've seen Jacksepticeye play it, and I was like, that looks pretty fun. So now, here I am, and I'm playing Game Dev Tycoon. I am so happy. What did I just roll over? Oh, my headphone cables. Freaking cables! <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to Dame, 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 <laughs> Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create the best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a, game, a name. Okay. Um, so what this game is about is obviously it's game dev tycoon. So what you do is you make games and get money. <laughs> so it's, um, it's really cool. Uh, company name. Um, Derpy Games. And dumb. I am, no. Let's do uh, that one. Actually, he looks more kind of Asian from the back. Uh, none of these actually look like me, so I'm just going to do that one. And that one. Wait, is there like a hoodie one? Okay, we'll do that one. Okay. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages when then <laughs> sorry my hair is in my way and I can't see anything. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages then you can do so in the menu to access the help menu uh such as saving loading creating game escape in the main menu. Okay. Congratulations you just started very own game development company. At the moment your office is, a, is in a garage and you are the only, only employee but don't worry many successful businesses have started out this way. Like uh, Google and um, Amazon. Uh, let's start you developing. You start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere on the screen and bring up the pop action menu. The action menu. Okay. Young startup. Buy a game. Okay. I didn't even buy it, but I got an achievement. Um, before development, you can. Oh wait, wait, wait. Um, I don't know where my webcam is. Okay, it's in front of the the thing. Okay. So it was over here, but now it's. Okay. Sorry. Before development, you can begin. You have to decide what kind of game you want to give your name, game a name. You can also select what graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. All right. Let's do Derpy Penguins. All right. Uh, topic. Ooh. That's new. I like that. Uh, we'll do abstract, um, action, <laughs> and we'll do the, um, uh, dev cost 20k, we'll do this one, alright, so we're doing on the G64, uh, we can do 2D graphics, I mean I have 70,000, so, Oh, here we go, bro. Development, uh, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Uh, picking the right focus on your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and, de and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description in the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay, so... It's an abstract action, so I do need a good bit of engine, a lot of gameplay, and not too much story and quests, but that's a big, a big thing. Your game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate points, and which you can see, game points, which you can see bubbling up. Uh, game points are divided into design points and technology points. There are more points you regenerate. Uh, the more points you generate, the better your game will be. For the time, or from time to time, 
there will also be bug points generated. These points will become become less likely once you get experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development in time and cost. Okay. Wow, this one's doing actually pretty good for the first one. Uh, it's an action, so I need a little bit of dialogue, a lot of level design, and a lot of AI. Maybe not too much dialogue. We'll keep that. Okay. Look at this. We're doing it. Ah, oh, God, it looks so good. <laughs> That's the DeLorean under the sheet. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you defined the game. But uh, this will... <laughs> this is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mind. Wait. I, d I didn't actually... <laughs> I, the last part of that kind of messed with me. I couldn't tell. Or look at what it said quick enough. Uh, we'll do a lot of world design, a lot of graphics, and a good bit of sound. Okay. We'll go with that. If I can already hit 10 for design, I already hit 10. What about technology? 10. Uh, bugs. Um... Yeah, I gotta fix some five bugs already. Wow. I don't need the cash yet, so I can... Ooh, I get a sign. Finish. Alright, development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you will you gain experience and will improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of, experience, of the experience gained. Okay. And I see now I can edit it up here. Oh, yes. Awesome. Release. Your game's not complete and we hand it off to publishing. We should see reviews uh, coming in for the game soon. First reviews are newly released game. Dirty Penguins came in. Three. Waste of money. A three. Pretty bad. A three. Not much fun. A four. Okay. Okay, I mean, it is my first game, so obviously it's going to be pretty shitty. Um, after publishing a game, you can invest a little bit more time in analyzing and analyze your creation, generate a game report, uh, game research points is... Okay. Close menu. Okay. Let's go... Generate game report. And select. Cost me 46k. Holy shit. Derby Games, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released the first game, Derby Penguins. Uh, the game has moderate response from viewers. We we're curious to say, or we're curious what Derpy Games will deliver in the future. Honestly, I like that name. Um, okay, okay, okay. It sold 2,000 units in its first week on the market. Okay, alright, I see what you're doing. Look at that. Uh, now that your game is on sale, you receive uh, the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing and look at the sales graph at the top right of the screen all right oh look at that okay second week obviously isn't awesome but the third week was even better um gain more research points game reports uh, da, 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 da. good idea look in the research menu okay let's go to the research Research important to unlock new options, better games, you okay. I have twenty-two research points. Um we'll do a new topic. Um let's do a comedy. Ooh, I like that. Dude. Okay. Alright, I see. We did pretty well. Alright, we successfully researched comedy uh let's just go and just start developing a new game um duh, i hate to do like derpy everything but just for the start we're gonna do uh derpy pandas uh we'll do topic comedy genre uh adventure and we'll do on the PC. Because I... 
we'll do a text-based actually 2d graphics because a text-based comedy probably wouldn't be the best comedy adventure um so since it's an, an adventure i need story and quests a good bit of gameplay but not maxed and good bit engine Dude, I am so happy I'm playing this, man. I absolutely... Okay, when I watched Jacksepticeye play this, I absolutely fell in love with it. And now that I get to play it, I'm like, this is awesome. Um, also, eventually, I will get to um, playing Amnesia. Uh, uh, is it A Dark Descent or The Dark Descent? It's uh, I have Amnesia The Dark Descent. So, um, that's going to be good. Um, I'm so happy, though. Um, a lot of dialogue, not too much level design, and not too much artificial intelligence. Um, oh, let's go! Alright. Uh, okay, Derpy Penguin says just finished. So let me finish this and I'll look at that. Uh, basic sounds. Don't okay. Do you need sound? Not too much graphics. A lot of world designs. It's an adventure. Derby Penguins is now off the market. All right. Bruh. Oh, excuse me. Fourteen in design. Look at that. Oh god, I'm at sixteen k. New record. Look at that. New topic and new combo. Okay. Um, I'm almost already to level 2, man. That's pretty good. Good judgment. Create a game with a good topic genre combination. Hey! Dude, I didn't even know! I got an achievement, but I can't see what it is. Um, the pandas came in. Alright, the reviews. A 5 has its moments. A, hey, that's pretty good. Another 5. Dude, that's pretty good. For my second game... Almost all fives? All fives for my second game. That's pretty good. That's gonna sell really well, I hope. Uh, Gavador 64... Gavador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer, prefer the lower price, greater availability, flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Okay. Uh, might... Uh, experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Nope. Uh, let's generate a... Okay, yeah. Derby Pandas. Select. Generate a game report. Dude! 4K? I have 18 fans! Yes! Dude, that's pretty good, man. A hundred... Er, now I have... Wow, look at that! Dude, I'm already up to 60K! Okay, what was my, um, comedy adventure is a great combination, artificial intelligence seems to be not, uh, important for this type of game. Oh, okay. Did I do high artificial intelligence? I don't know. Dude, 74k! Oh, I had to, okay. Let's research something. A new topic. Um, a mystery. Who killed Derpy Penguin? Over 10k units sold with my second game! That is so good, dude. Holy shit. Uh, according to rumors, Jap Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own game, home gaming console. Ninvento is known for a widely successful arcade game, Dinky King. <laughs> Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but are eager to see what, that, what Ninvento will deliver. Okay. So, let's go, man. 11.1k units, man. That is so good. Okay. I got mystery. Um, and now it's off the market. How well? 11,000 units, 67, or 78,000 in sales. That is really good. I'm extremely happy with that. I can't do, okay. Um, develop a new game. Let's just jump, jump into it some more. Um, who killed, here, let's do, sorry, killed Derpy Penguin. Alright, let's pick a topic. 
mystery, um, adventure, and we'll do on the, they said the Gavador 64 was gonna outsell, well, I mean, its market share is 57.9, so that's pretty good. Let's do it on that. Uh, 30,000, we'll do a, uh, a text-based. All right, who killed Derpy Penguin? Um, gameplay, not very much engine since it's a text-based and not too much story and quest, but still a good bit. All right, okay. I have 47 fans already, look at that. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights and development process and will learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. Uh, these insights are shown as hints at the development screen unless you have to turn off the option setting. Uh, plus 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 to negative negative, uh, indicate how important this is. Uh, hints uh, have a question mark at the end, it means you have insights to the game uh, in the same genre, but you're not yet sure whether it holds true for its particular genre or topic combination. Okay, that makes sense. Um, none like no artificial intelligence um a good bit of level design and a lot of dialogue cool Ooh, this is so exciting dude i love i love like game dev tycoon and also what was the other one uh tuber tycoon i watched except air play that and that was really cool so um we'll do a little bit of graphics mm. Hmm, world design. Okay, we'll just keep that mostly the same, except for the other thing. Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors about their new plans to release the new home, a new home gaming system called the TES, the NES. Uh, early next year, the console features a cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Cool, cool, cool. So that'll be a new console that I can develop games for, which is really good. Get rid of them bugs. Dude, that had... Was that eight bugs? That's what I saw? Wow. I have 41 research points, bruh. Oh, I, had, I got a look. Um, to Dom. From Patrick and Daniel Klug. Greenheart Games. Hi, Dom. We are the creators of Dame Dev, Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Oh, you're welcome, man. Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup and will hopefully make sure that we can bring more games to you in the future. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much. Have fun with Game Dev Tycoon. I already have and I literally just started playing it. Uh, well, thank you, Patrick and Daniel Klug from Green Hard Games. I absolutely love you guys for making this game. So, um, yeah. Um, probably won't watch this, but first reviews who killed their penguin came in. Five, okay, fun at stages. That's a six, ooh! Five, okay. A four, ooh, okay, that's pretty good. So that's a five and a half. Generate game report. Did I do one for this? I think I did one for the other one. 3,000 in the first week. Yes. That's really good, dude. Contracts have now been unlocked. See available contracts. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mystery and adventure is a great combination. Dialogue seems to be very important for this game. Genre match. G64 and adventure is great. Okay. That's good. Um... Let's research... Should I save up for a custom game engine? Oh, what is this? Sorry, uh, no! Uh, hi there, we just finished... I've just... <laughs> I've just... Why can I not read today? This is terrible for me. I've just finished Who Killed Derby Penguin. I am impressed by your talent. I am in the contracting business. We would, we could use the skills like yours. If you ever short on cash, just let me know, and I will see if we have some work, or if I have some work for you. Okay, so find contract work. Uh, balance is low. Generate a small number of research points. Okay, I just need three for a new game engine, so that's good. Um. 
Uh, we'll do this one. Okay. So, it generates a little bubble. Oh my god, am I not going to do it? Ah, oh, tits. Ah. Uh, see the contract works. Please care. Okay. I don't hold grudges if you want to. Okay. I have new contracts every six months to check back some time. TS has been released. Okay. Um. Let's research. Oh. Um. I don't want to do a new game because I literally just released Who Killed Derby Penguin, but it is going to go off the market here in a little bit. Um, let's... Mm, I want to do a custom game engine, but I'm two points away. So let's just do a new... Um, a new genre topic. Let's do technology. I'm done a 38. Damn it. I'm almost at 100 fans! Game off the market. Sold 99,000, generating 68,000. Okay, let's look at my game history. Um, this was pretty good. Um, 3.25, obviously for my first game. There'd be pandas who killed their penguin. Um, Okay, yeah, we'll have to, we need to make a new game. Um, let's do, um, hmm, what should I do? Do I have simulation? Hold on. I do not. Hmm. Okay, let's research. Ninja. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. I want to do, like, um... Uh... Hand simulator or something like that, you know? Develop a new game. Okay. We'll do... Um... Let's do... Um... Okay, I picked transport, but... Oh, um, you're a truck simulator. How do you spell that? Hero... Truck... Sim. Okay. Uh, genre... Oh, here, okay. It's in the... Transport simulation... And... Oh my god, the license cost for the TES is 8k. Um... Simulation strategy. We'll do this on the G64 again. Um, 2D graphics. Okay, that took a lot out of me, so I might have to do like a. Um, okay, we need a lot of engine, a lot of story and quests, and I, okay, just max all those out because I need. Because you're a truck simulator. I've played it, obviously. Um, Artificial intelligence a good bit, a lot of the level design, not... This is a simulation, I don't need very many, di very much dialogue. Okay. New topic, technology, okay. So, what could I do with technology? Like, um, PC building simulator? I could do that. Um, that's just, that's a good idea. Uh, graphics, a good bit. Not too much sound. Let's we'll half that out and a lot of world design. This is gonna be this is difficult. Um, because I'm kinda running low on money. Um get rid of them bugs. Get rid of the bugs. Oh god. We gotta put this out like now. Ten for everything. I leveled up on everything. That's awesome. Okay. Uh oh. I'm in the negative. Your truck sim came in. Oh, please be good. Please be good. I need... Oh, God, no. That's a four. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
That's not good. A six. Okay. Um. Is it released? Okay, I was gonna say it's better release now because I'm running low on money, bro. What? Holy crap! I made my money back immediately. Transport and simulation is a great combination. Dialogue seems to be not important for this type of game. Uh, G64 and simulation is good. Okay. Look at that. Um, let's try a contract. Debug program. All right. Ooh, I can do a new game engine because I have 61 research. Yes! And I just got 14,000. Yeah! Alright, let's research a new custom game engine. It's gonna cost money to make it, right? I have 137 fans, it's pretty good. God, this takes forever. Proven Amassic says sales numbers have exceeded expectations so far. Uh, one customer says, I love the games that come with the TES and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Oh. Okay, how did this do? 13,000 and 91,000 in sales. That's almost 100k, which is really good. Um, I can't do anything since I'm researching the game engine. Um, so... Uh, now you can create your own skin, did, did, okay. Game tutorials and mono sound. Look at that. Uh, research. Okay. 15 RP, okay. Um, let's do a custom game. Oh. Oh, wait, no, this is the, the game engine. Um... Let's go with... Oh, I forgot Waddles. I keep... I always forget Waddles. Oh, sorry. Um, this is... Oof. I don't want to put too much into this, but I'm gonna have to. Oh my god. That's already 60k. Okay, let's not do the 2D graphics, but we'll have a linear story. Um, we'll do... Um... I don't know a good name. I, 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 whenever I get under pressure, I can't do games. Why is the plate in there? Um. Okay, let's just do summit. I don't know. <laughs> Create engine. Oh my god. And I can't do anything because summit is not complete. First, okay, I'll try it. Okay, develop new game. Let's do. Ah, uh, what should I do now? Um. Hmm. Game dev sim. Uh, topic game dev genre simulation platform uh, G64, and we'll do the Summit game engine. This is already 30,000. Oh no, I am. I'm out of money. I'm like. Oh my god, I'm gonna be out of money. This is bad. This is really bad. Um, engine, we'll do... We don't really need story and quests. Let's do none on story and quests. Okay, this really sucks because I'm at two, negative 2.2k now, and this isn't even, the game isn't even done. Um, we don't need dialogue, because there is none in this game. Um, a good bit of AI and not too much global design. Uh, um, a 
good bit of sounds. Uh, graphics. Wait, did I do a text-based? Uh-oh. Um, world design, not too much. Graphics, maxed out. Okay. Bank account, okay. Oh, now I gotta pay back. Wait, what? Our, uh, recent studies suggest that increasing variety of mass specialized platforms are needed. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers as others can cater to the more mature age groups. As more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games to specific age groups and really make an impact. Okay, target audience. I need to finish this, like, now. Okay. New record for, um, technology. Release it. First views of your newly released game, game dev sim came in. A seven? Dude, what? Another seven. Another seven. Simulation games work well on G64. Okay. <laughs> Nothing's happening. What? Hold on. What? Dude. Massive success on the TES console. There are rumors. Uh, the Vena. <laughs> Wait. Sega? Another Japanese company. Gaming console of their own. Oh my freaking god. Dude. I'm gonna hit 100k. I hit 100k. Oh my god. Okay, sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Oh. Wait, yeah, I did that. I did a lot of sound. Bruh. That's freaking awesome. Um, let's do research. We'll do target audience, and we can do another, a new topic. Wait, can I do two things at once? I don't think I can. Ninja, oh, I can't. Well, that kind of sucks. We'll just do the tar target audience. God, my, <laughs> the mouse pad that I have is literally another computer. It's like a laptop, and I take the battery out of it. But, oh. The Master V uh, claims that the Master V is technically superior to massively successful TES. Okay. Well, what sucks is I don't even have... Dude, that's crazy, man. Okay, let's do a new game. Let's, okay, target audience. Okay, I gotta, we'll do this one for young. We'll make it a sports. Action. And we'll do it on the TES. Yes. And we'll... Okay, that was weird. It wasn't... Oh my god, I'm out of money. Um... Sports action, TES. What should we do? Um... FIFA X I I That's <laughs> FIFA 11 Um Okay, let's do it I didn't mean to do a text based Damn it Can I trash this one? Damn it Actually, we don't need story quests We'll do engine and gameplay Ah, damn it Um, sports action, level design, a lot, and a good bit of AI. I didn't want it for it to be a text-based, but I guess it's gonna be a text-based now. Uh, world design, okay. Damn it. I didn't want for that to happen. Um, I screwed up. 
Okay, I gotta put it out because I'm at negative 21k. New record, yay! All right, just release it, release it. And I need to no, don't research. Oops. Generate game report, and we'll do FIFA 11. FIFA 11 came in. A seven? Okay. A seven? That's actually really surprising. An eight? Dude! Another seven! Wow! That did really well. I didn't think it would. Master V by Vina has been released. That's doing so well! Sports and action is a great combination. Graphics seem to be very important for this type of game. TES and action is okay. Dude, I'm at almost 500 fans. Um, okay. Not very well marketed in North America. Do really well in other parts of the world. Okay. Bruh, that did extremely well. Holy shit. Uh, we'll do this one. Actually, I don't even need to do this. I'm just getting it for extra money. 200. Dude, I'm at 200k. Just what we wanted. Transfer 15k to your account. Holy shit. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I want to uh, research. Uh, game tutorials, your mono sound. Why can't I do two one time? Like, dumb. <laughs> Dude, that did so well. Holy crap, man. 295,000 in sales! Oh my god. That is insane. Insane! Okay. Um... And then we'll do game tutorials. Yep. Game tutorials are good, but then I uh, now I just realized I have to make a new engine for me to be able to use the game engine as a thing for a game. Okay. Well, screw it. We'll do it. Uh, 2D graphics. Well, it won't do mono sound. Uh, won't worry about a linear story. Uh, let's do, um, I need, okay, well, screw it, let's just do Dr. <laughs> Pepper. Oh, that's, it's two piece. <laughs> okay, it's 90,000, but hopefully with a game that I make, for, see, I just have this Dr. Pepper thing sitting back there, so. This is, this feels like a long Casual guy. Oh, wait. Cavador 60. Okay. Cavador 64 employees said that a company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers. Okay. So, Cavador 64 is going to be going off the market, is what I'm getting from this. 7.25, which, that is insane. Look at that income. Wow, dude, I made 244k profit on that. That's insane. Might have to make a, uh, a second one to that. Game tutorials, okay. I need to figure out how to research um, game... Um, casual games, new topic. Let's... This is your research colonization because I need to... Oh, shit. Okay, I shouldn't have done that because now I'm going to be running out of money. Well, I only have 70... I have 70,000. Ooh, but it's going to be expensive to make my next game. Ooh! <laughs> okay. Uh, the Gambling, which is the Game Boy. Okay, that's cool. Develop a new game. We'll do it for Mature... I don't have ninja. Damn it! Um, 
mystery um, RPG. We'll do the um, TES, and we'll do Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, I gotta name it. Um, mystery RPG Clue. What? Mr. RPG. Um, we'll do 2D graphics V2. Oh my god. Okay, we'll just do the V1 now. Um, story and quest, a lot, a lot of gameplay, and not very much engine. We'll have a save game with it. Don't really need it tutorial do I yeah okay I'm gonna run out of money but the hopefully if I don't pay off with this I'm going to run out extremely fast well I'm gonna be in the negative so that kind of sucks um, but then I'll have to do like some contract work hopefully and then I can get out of the negative see I'm down to 215 negative dude uh, Planet GG, we've rumored that your company is developing game for mature audiences. Uh, would you be willing to give an interview about this? Yeah. Great, thank you for your time. <laughs> okay. Um, a good bit of sound. Um, graphics, not too much world design, but still a lot. Um, Planet GG has recently published an interview with Derpy Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game um, targeted at mature players. Dom, owner of the CEO of Derpy Games, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content and games are willing to take the risk to give it to them. Many, many industry experts say that sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how market, the market will react to these games. I got 10 hype for it. Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success. It's essentially, you build hype and ensure the players are excited about your game. At the beginning of your career, hype is most generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. Okay. This is doing really well for my, my things. The Ninvento, or the Gameling is released. Okay. 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 Alright, get rid of it. Okay, um, let's just see how it does. And first, let's, okay, I can't do a game report yet. A six, okay. Another six, please don't be another six. Oh God, <laughs> bless up. Oh, okay. There's one seven, so that kind of makes up for it. And we'll do a game report. 6.25. And it's doing pretty well. Um, Mystery RPG is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. Uh, okay. Platform genre match. TSE RPG is okay. Platform audience match, TES and mature is terrible. Okay, I gotta I gotta keep that in mind. Um Seems initial sales for clue fallen way below expected numbers. The game received good reviews, but does it seem uh yeah. Okay. I screwed up. We'll do a ninja. Um, and once I received research this, I'm gonna end it here. Um, with a growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for the video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Okay, marketing. Okay, um, so I will, uh, I'm gonna end it here, but I will catch you guys in the next episode, and I hope you guys like this game, so I will catch you guys later. I love you. Stay therapy. Bye.